totally live. All kinds of things going on in the studio today. Uh, there are there are what two studios running downstairs? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, lots going on here at DDX, and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy around here. Um, so I, I wanted to let you guys know just very quickly um, about an open house we're having on May the 15th, which I believe is a Tuesday night, right, Rhonda? I believe so. Uh, at 6 p.m. here at DDX under the Red Roof Mall. We're in that sort of the back of the complex on Suite 21. Um, but our sister channel, which is the Creative Christian Network, um, is inviting folks who have a ministry of some sort to come and tell us a little bit about their ministry and learn more about how social media might promote that. If you happen to fall into that category uh, or know someone who does, we'd appreciate you tagging them in this video uh, and so just so that they know. Um, and we'll be happy to either reach out to them or they can reach out to us by messaging us at Mountain Phone Life or the Creative Christian Network or even down home with Ashley uh, and we will get them the right information. So with all that being said, and as busy as we are, we are going to launch right into this next program. Rhonda, if you will roll the intro, please. All right, guys. Quite on set. We're fixing the film, and we are going to roll. Number one thing that I would say about home budgeting is financial matters are the number one stress factors in everyone's daily life. That right there 
I think I've read that that might be the, the number one cause of divorce. It, it is. In the it's United States, so. a number one cause of a lot of things. Uh, I would imagine that, uh, you know, I, I don't know that this is true as far as suicides, but I do know that I've been impacted in my life by losing uh, members of uh, my teams and, and all from that. And, and we feel like that was that was kind of the factors. So, um, but it really doesn't matter. The, the thing about financial stress is a lot of people think, hey, if I just get that next job, if I just get that next pay raise, if I just can, you know, I just need my tax return. And the thing is, is that's all good, but life happens. Maybe we need and, to learn to live within our means as opposed to <laughs> waiting for the next big thing, right? That, that's true. Um, it really doesn't, you know, my dad tried to teach me, I say tried, because I fell into the trap as everyone else. Uh, but where basically said, hey, it doesn't matter how much money you make in life. You just learn to live within your means and you do that and you're gonna be okay. Well, me, like everyone else, hey, you know, when I got my first job, I remember me and my wife, you know, we didn't make a whole lot of money and we were looking at just our car payments and I remember thinking, wow, we're paying so much for these vehicles. So I, you know, I sold mine um, and, you know, let her keep hers <laughs> and uh, Good yeah, and <laughs> But, you know, that was just one thing that we did at that time. Then we started chipping away at some of the other things that we had. And, you know, but but my life experiences are the same and different as everybody else's life experiences. When you're talking about family budgeting, you know, basically everyone's going to have to be bought in. And you have to realize one thing. You know, you're either building debt or you're building wealth. There's no two ways around it. You, Whichever one you're, wherever you are right now, today, you're going one direction or the other. It's black and white. It is, but we don't really think of it. We just kind of go through life, and uh, everyone out there has a credit card. You know, we have Not credit everyone. cards. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, everyone out there has a credit card they want you to get. Right. Okay. You know, so That's you know true. you're checking you out. Daily, yeah, right. we we're checking out at the line, and they, you know, they say, "Hey, would you like a credit card? You can save twenty percent today." I can't count and how many I get in the mail every day. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so. So a lot of that we have to kind of monitor where, you know, do we really need it? Are we, you know, is saving $10 today worth adding another credit card? Um, you know, we have to kind of look, you know, with me being in banking, I'm doing loans for people all the time that basically a lot of times they have managed to get into the, the negative side of the wealth and debt. And then they come to us to say, hey, we, you know, I really can't get out of this situation. I'm having a tough time because when you're paying 20% or more um, interest on that credit card, it's it's a struggle. And it impacts the ability to purchase things later. It does. So. Yeah, yeah it, it definitely, you know, getting back to kind of what we talked in the first segment about credit, you know, that, that impacts your credit score. So then, you know, when you're credit score is impacted, then that means you're paying a higher rate for the lower, for lower interest rated item. So it's, uh, but basically when, when you're looking at home budgeting, I would suggest that the first thing is both parties are going to have to get together and kind of decide, because if one person thinks it and the other person's not on board, it's not going to work. If you're married or have a significant other, you need to sit down at the kitchen yes. table with them and talk. Absolutely, and I would suggest to talk with a financial advisor or a financial specialist, maybe not an advisor, but just someone that knows, has a background. You know, we, we trust dentists with our teeth, we trust doctors with our bodies, mechanics with our vehicles, but we don't want to trust financial people with our money. And really, <clears throat> there are a lot of financial professionals out there mm -hmm. who will offer a free service, free consultation. I know sure. bb and does a lot. Absolutely. Free education when it comes to these things. Yes, so. we, we actually have a whole program designed specifically for this. It's called our Financial Wellness Plan. We've been around since 1872, and we we haven't been in business this long without understanding our customers and their needs. So we've developed this plan. It's a 20-module plan. We give it to, uh, we like to give this actually to employers for their employees to try to help our uh, communities. So basically it covers anything from mortgages to credit cards to uh, so many things, investment savings. I mean, there's so many different modules in this that basically it's our way of giving back and saying, hey, we know that people need this information. And maybe a great way to tailor things because some people mm -hmm. may need more modules rather than others. Right? Absolutely. And you have the ability to, you have access to all of them. So you, you can pick which ones that you want to look at and which ones that are mainly affect you. All right. So whether it comes down to 
creating a basic family budget. I'm going to spend this on food. I'm going to spend this for housing. I'm going to spend this for utilities. Mm -hmm. Or it's something a little more complicated, mm -hmm. like how to shop for a mortgage. Sure. You guys offer different we do. products. To, to, well, I, and product is probably the wrong word. But you offer different resources to help people sure. negotiate those. Our app is a very good uh, resource. It's called the U. Basically, what we can do is, is we can tell you exactly what you make your purchases on every month, so you don't have to worry about writing that down. And then we had a guy who recently said, "Hey, I, uh, how much money?" Whenever I went back and looked, he had spent ten thousand dollars in fast food the year before, which was a down payment on his home if he right. could have used that. So, and I've noticed that several mm -hmm. banks are able to break those things down simply from what you your online sure. banking app, right? If you, yes, ma'am. If you don't write it down and you don't acknowledge what you're spending your money on, you have no idea. I was blinded by the Roll money I was one, spending. Write it down. Exactly. Right. So we capture that in on through our online, uh, you know, database there, the application, and it's a great, great utility, something, great tool to use to help you. Right. So even if you don't keep your own financial journal, mm -hmm. talk to your bank, and if you don't have a bank right now, you can talk to BB&T sure. about keeping um, that information for you. So that in three months, six months, a year, you can take a look and see where you're spending your money. Absolutely. Uh, I know that I check mine fairly often, mm -hmm. and it's nice to see. Yeah. Um, I can tell where, what I've spent on, for instance, medical bills, or mm -hmm. as you said, at fast food restaurants, um, what I spend for mortgage and insurance and all of those things. Uh, so it's a really great way to look at what you have and maybe what you need to be spending as opposed to what you are. Yes, right? ma'am. Okay, Mark. If you will give everyone your contact information so that they can reach out to you and right. maybe learn more. Uh, if you are an employer, this is a great resource for your employees. Um, and I would encourage you to reach out to Mark and his team at BB&T uh, to maybe get this information for your folks. Um, if you're an individual and you're thinking, wow, I really need to sit down and make a budget, uh, they would also welcome those calls. Mm -hmm. So what is your contact information, Mark? It's Mark Graham, and that phone number is going to be 865-430-2560, and the email is mgrahaam at bbandt.com. Okay. Thank you for All the right. great information. Thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you all for being here as well. It's always good to see you. I look forward to joining you again soon. I'm down home with Ashley. Take